Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as Lord Roy the Mad Beesbury. Um, and yeah, so in the last episode we had our independence war. We're currently independent from the Hyde House. We're direct directly sworn to our liege Garth Massey, the Lord Paramount of the Reach, who is uh, ruling from Highgarden, but he also has the Lordship of Blackheart. Okay, interesting. Now, we're just in the process of taking over Dunsbridge, which will allow us to then... Um, form the High Lodge of a Brightwater Keep, and that's gonna, um, that's gonna be very good because then we will be able to uh, stay independent from the High Towers, and that's awesome. Then we can slowly work on, uh, you know, <laughs> getting all of their stuff. Your Septon, Septon Osbert of Honeyhold reports that Commander Walter of Old Town has been humbled by your endless generosity to the poor in Dunsbridge. Really, the poor in Dunsbridge. Your Septon Osbert reports that Commander Walter has been humbled by your endless generosity to the poor. You are currently besieging their castle, and the peasants are singing my name already? That's awesome! I must be just so awesome! The peasants love me for destroying their lands. So they already, the, the, the small folk already sees me as their true and legal ruler. Unlawful ruler, I guess is what you would say. Okay, so these mercenaries are not just not quite as effective as our our son in combat. They only killed half of these men. They're gonna arrive in Somerset, so let's actually hunt them down. And once we've killed them, I think we're gonna stand down these mercenary armies because they actually cost quite a lot of money. Uh, luckily, the Ironborn are not pissing us off at the moment because that'll be quite annoying. Speaking of which, they're currently killing someone else. Awesome. And Siege of Mouth Watch has. Wow, that was very quick. Good job. Good job. Indeed, Walter. And we've actually imprisoned Dunsbridge. Okay, he's imprisoned. Wow. You've imprisoned quite a lot of people. Could we actually demand these guys? Yes, we could. Wow, look at all these people could demand. Um, but, yeah. Obviously, let's uh, finish this battle. And then, yeah, I don't want to stop midway. Okay, let's finish the war as well. Awesome. Lord Rui has usurped the title, Lordship of Dunsbridge son, from Sir Frederick Ambrose. Well, there you go, Sir House Ambrose. I'm sorry. Basically, because of me, they had they lost two castles. <laughs> one I took directly, and the other one they lost it because I took over Old Town. But that's just the way it is, you know. Okay, so we have taken that. Very nice indeed. Uh, good job, Walter. We're actually over here as well. Right. Okay, remember. Um. And we can now create the High Lordship of Brightwater, and we will do that. Awesome. There you go. Lord Roy of Brightwater has created the title High Lordship. Awesome. What's this? You can press Norcross. Commander. We need a new commander. We can also get a High Almoner. Ah, okay. We can get a new commander as well. So we have... My son. We have Ontario Lafayette and two more commanders. Okay, we have Imri Chester, a very old dude, an old knight, but he's not exactly a commander. Rick at my rival, no, but we have Elias of Farheave, a Beesbury, a skilled fighter, dutiful, well, incompetent commander, but yeah, we're gonna pick him, he's of our house. And then another one, we're probably gonna pick Simon Lefford. Yes, House Lefford has served us quite well, so yeah, he's a craven, but he's. I don't know, his father, probably? Yes, his father, Ontario Lefford, has been a very good commander, so his son will also serve as our commander. And now we have the Florent Sigil, which is something I don't really like. We're no longer Beast Boy because now our High Lordship, or our, our primary title is this. It's kind of annoying, I have to admit, but there's not really that much I can do about it. Um, okay, and we're gonna have to give out a title, Dunsbridge, for example. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure what we're, who we're gonna give Dunsbridge to. Perhaps House Lefford. Perhaps we're actually gonna give it to House Lefford, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, now if we wanna. We can't declare war. Because. We can't do that. And we can't declare war on him either. Um. So, let's stand down these folks, our own men for now. I just wanna see if we could declare war. Yes, but we would be a truce breaker. Um, 
lowering all Vastorossi rulers' opinion of you by negative 25 and would lose a thousand prestige. That seems like an awful lot to me. Alright, disband this unit. I don't think we need these mercenaries anymore. They have served us well. Um, okay, domain is too big. Um, sent for. Okay. Our vassals are pissed. We have tons of weak claims. Okay, we'll actually press the claim for the uh, Iron Throne. We're not going to do that. Awesome, so we are now a High Lord. Let's actually check out... Mm, no. We can't see ourselves now, but... Yeah. So as soon as possible, we're probably going to de have to declare one our brother. Because he has not helped us in our rightful war. Um, we're actually... If we kill both of his daughters, we're going to inherit... Look at all the claims he has. Hmm, what are we going to do with Dunsbridge? We could give it to our son, Jackson, or to Kyle. We need something for Kyle, definitely. What are we going to do? Oh, he's ambitious. Oh, I like that. I like that. Perhaps we're just going to build a new castle in Honeyhold. Yeah, maybe we're going to build a castle in Honeyhold. Yeah, we'll see. But I guess for now, we're just going to go a little bit forward. We are over our domain. Um... Stop bothering me about this nonsense. I don't want that. We need to give out a castle. <sighs> My son already is commander of Old Town. I think... Hmm... I would love to give it to my son, Jackson. But... Yeah, that's probably not possible. Hmm... Gunther Ash Ashford. Alright, let's check out my court. Who do I like the most? Oh, right, I have these two guys still imprisoned. Perhaps we want to sell them. I guess we're going to ransom them. I don't hate them particularly. Would I do that? Would I ransom them? Probably. Even though I'm a lunatic, I, I really... I mean, we are wrath. Certainly had a hot temper, but... Yeah, I, I guess... They're not, they're not my family members. I think if I had my family members, I would do something... More to them, because... They really have betrayed me. Um, these guys... Well, okay, my nephew. I, I Probably I should have done to, something to my nephew, but... That's fine. It's fine. We'll just ransom them. I don't feel particularly cruel today, actually. Oh, look at that. The Talis are marching. Who are you fighting? Oh, you're just marching. Interesting. Hmm. Rosebury... Why does... Why does this... Dude always have his army raised. I don't understand. Whatever though. Okay, so these he has paid for that. Awesome. And I think yeah, we're just probably gonna save up some cash and build a castle for our son Kyle to give him a castle. We can imprison Master Maester Merrick. I have discovered replace Lord Rui and become regent. Really. Huh, well, I'll imprison you then. There you go. He wants to remove my son. Oh. Call Maester Merrick for trial. No. No. I'm not gonna put you for trial. You will just stay there. For now. Okay. Who else do we have imprisoned? This, this hedge knight still. Okay. Send for a new maester. Wow, that costs quite a lot of money. Okay, but we're making enough. Alright. Could actually found a new kingdom. Hold two duchy titles. Realm size of 35 is independent ruler. Well, we need of that. Um, do we want to bribe one of these people? Perhaps this Northman. Yep. Perhaps that guy. He is quite selfish. Alright, send him a gift. If he will... If we will help us, that would be quite useful. Yeah, because this guy wants... Still wants to... Kill... Our son. I don't understand why. But, oh well. And we have gained a new maester. So let's check him out. How's he doing? He's just man, authoritative, gregarious, and cynical. All right, he seems quite all right. All right, so what to do with Dunsbridge? Hmm, I think I want to give it to House Lefford. Actually, we're gonna have a look. 
Mm. Check out the minor titles. We do not have a high almoner. Uh, Septon of Honeyhold. Yes. Septon of Lord Sept. Yeah, Septon of Honeyhold. I think he should be that guy. Um, High Almoner. He's already important. Awesome. So, Ontario Lafford. You, how's Lafford? Do you actually hold any titles? Yes. Yes. Tarbeck Hall. Really? And you have Red Rain. That's pretty cool. House Lurch, however, is guardian, was the guardian of the Golden Tooth. Hmm. Barbara has usurped. Okay, uh, this does not really interest me that much. Okay. Mm hmm, I see. So you have. What was it again? Tarbeck Hall. That's your family. Do we have any other castles? I doubt it, actually. Yeah, probably not. Um, so many people. Look at that. 29 living members. House Felwell. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, but they don't really have any castles. Make it small again. And Visera of Visera's host has declared Visera's host claim on the Iron Throne. Now, this guy is not well loved. So we'll see um, what's going to happen. It seems like... Okay, so this time actually nobody is under his direct command, which is very good. That's going to make things a little bit more interesting. So let's see. He is fighting Rusby, White Tree, and the Westerlands. And he has the support of the Stormlands, the Riverlands, and the Whispers. So that is actually a little bit more interesting because the king himself only fields 11,000 troops, whereas the attacker, Wisera, has 18,000 men, and she is the rider of... Arcanoid, Telfi Telfire Arcanoid. So that could actually be potentially very interesting. So, yeah, we'll see. But for now, let's uh, just go faster forward. Um, are you... Okay, you're still on the high tower rule. That's quite frustrating. We need to be High Lord of High Tower. It's very necessary. <sighs> we can press our claim on Norcross. Um... I've had my eye on a feisty young scholarly maid with huge intellect <laughs> for some time now. Though, the skillfully, though she skillfully dodges the attentions of every boy and greybeard at court, I have her blushing furiously whenever I gaze into her eyes. Seduced and wrapped around my finger, this sharp lass could be very useful. Make her a lady and keep her as my mistress. Marjorie appears at my court. Better and make her mine. What a spy she'll make. Plot discovery chance. Wait, plus 10? Oh, oh, I see. A common wench, I can do better. Um, you know what? Yes, I think... Hmm. Make her a lady and keep her as a mistress. Hmm. Or get the extra intrigue. No, I think we're gonna make her, yes, yeah, spy, maidservant lover. That's quite useful because we currently try to kill a guy, um, so that could be very helpful. This morning I woke up with a painful itch. It seems the warrior has seen fit to blight me with a minor pox for my sinful activities. No. Lover's pox. Ah, oh, this wretched woman. I should have invited her to court and I can't kill her. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Lover's Pox Sex Appeal. This character periodically suffers from embarrassing and unsightly blisters. Oh well. Oh, actually, now we can actually check out Direct Vassal. So look at that. Right while that. And we cut in half the High Lordship of Old Town. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Okay. Now, we still need to do something about this. We need to get... We need to get uh, Norcross and also all the other lands. Our family has defied us. I can't even believe it. Okay, we still have a too big of a domain, so we're gonna have to do something about this. But first, we want to build something in Honeyhold, a castle for Kyle. We want to build a castle for Kyle. That's what we want to do. And also, I think I would like to give Jackson Dunsbridge. I really would like to do that. And maybe Brightwater Keep as well. 
So we're going to give Dunsbridge... Or Brightwater Keep to Jackson and then Dunsbridge to someone else. Um... Yeah, I, I was actually checking out the courtiers that I like the most. Um, yeah. Darian Tully, Andrian Waltkin. My nephew. Right, he was my courtier. He likes me a lot, though. Mentor, honored squire, happy with upbringing. Mad at guardian. Well, I could grant you knighthood. No, he hasn't really proved himself worthy. However, my captain of the household guard, he was quite useful. But he has claims on Crow's Nest and Lawnmouth. Okay. Hmm. Don't really know if that's worth giving him a castle, though. We'll see. Nah, I don't want to throw around castles. Andrea, my dear nephew, clearly upset, is reminding me of my promise to get him married. I just have the person in mind. Promised marriage will be removed from Lord Relino Valerion. My master arms. No. That is it. You're off to the Septons. To the Citadel you go. I also have not found anyone suitable. Um, actually, the promise the marriage. You know what? Yeah, I haven't found anyone, but I'm gonna find you someone now. And we have raiders. Okay, first I'm gonna find you a wretched woman, just so you shut up about this. Salise. Oh, it, my my daughter? Oh, right. I remember now. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What the hell. Um. Who, who would work for you? You are 18. I'm gonna give you that one. Arwen Orm, a rich man girl. She wants to become treasurer. There you go. Marry her. Awesome. And let me leave me alone with this. Raise a man, kill him dead. Who's actually leading the charge? Master Elias, my cousin. Okay. Not really sure if he's the right man to do this, but. Yeah, he's doing quite fine, I guess. We're also in command, obviously. Alright, he's killed quite a lot of people. I wonder... Simon Leffert. Okay, he was leading. Elias, my cousin. That was leading these guys. No, Ontario Leffert was leading these. Oh, I see. Alright. Don't stand him down just now. Um, to the handsome Wit Rui, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept your suggestion that they get married. Awesome. Stand down. Nope. Because we're going to lose half of our troops if we stand them down now. Awesome. Okay. So now House Beesbury is actually quite powerful. There's still these other Beesbury branches, but they're, they have not helped us out. So I'm actually kind of mad at them. This guy wants to improve his combat ability. Well... You could have, if you fought for me. House Ambrose. Oh, this guy must have been pissed then. Um, you're married to Belna. She's sick. Everyone likes me, though. Hmm. Right, so we have enough money, I think. So let's build a castle. Oh, no, 900 gold. Okay, never mind. So we're going to have to save up. Ontario Lefford. Whoa, what is your plot thing? Will place Sir Imri Chester. Oh, come on. End your plot. Alright, you're not gonna get a castle then, if you're plotting stuff. Your reports from Old Town. Uh, okay, yeah, we've had that before. Okay, did the Reach join the war? Yes, apparently. The Reach is now supporting the king. Okay, so yeah. We're winning. Um, oh. Okay, Melee's killed the, the, yeah, the host... Oh, well, look at that. She's possessed and now crippled. Her dragon has died. And that is the end of that. Melee's the Red Queen. Lord Paramount Rhaegar Valerian. Lord Paramount the Stormlands. And his dragon, Melee's the Red Queen, have just killed Telfire Arcanoi. Wow, 18 year old, 80 year old dragon. He was somewhat powerful, actually. Um. Okay, he stopped his plot. And he's getting 1,000. He's getting 11,000 men from Old Town. Only 1,400 from me. Oh, what happened? Walter, no! No way. Walter died. Walter died. And this guy wanted to kill him. And he died under suspicious circumstances. Okay, Mark Biggleston. This is the second one of House Biggleston. And Tala Connington were involved in this. And now Isaac. 
Oh, poor Walter. Oh, the pity. How? Okay, Isaac Beesbury. He has martial education. We're gonna have to uh, educate this child on our own. Yeah, even though we're a mad person. Wow. Huh. Okay. So first of all, we need a new commander of the City Watch of Old Town and a new commander. So, hmm. I have to think about this. Who? I did not expect that actually. Uh, who? Okay. So, Mark Biggleston, you shall be imprisoned. Yep. Excellent. And Tala Connington, you shall also be imprisoned. There you go. Don't tell me I'm a tyrant. Damn it. I'm truly a tyrant. Fine. But uh, this is bullshit tyranny. They, 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 uh, I, subs I know that they tried to kill my son. So why can I not? <laughs> this is bullshit. Anyways, um, Amina Beesbury, that's my son's daughter. Ah. Uh, so Rel Real Bel Valerion is not married. She's attractive. Hmm. Could grant her a knighthood. As an anointed knight, you have the power to grant her a knighthood. She probably deserves it, I think. Hmm. Huh. I think what we're gonna do is make... Yes, make her. She is my heir's mother. I think I'm gonna give her the honorary title. Or I can also only make her designated regent. Appoint a commander. Grant a knighthood. Huh. Call them for trial. I could visit her chambers. Her mother is Barbara Aaronford. Okay. So Oliver Connington. You know what? I'm actually gonna hmm, visit her chambers. Yeah, I'm entirely sure if I would want to do that. Amena, you need to be educated, and I think Sunel, my treasure, will educate you. There you go. Um, commander of Brightwater. Right. We need a new commander. Yeah, I think, Riel, you will replace your husband. Yep. And I think, who can I give this to? Only to Imri Chester or Ontario Lefford. Huh. Castellan of Brightwater. My Castellan. No, I'm going to give it to Ontario Lefford. Yes. Even though he kind of betrayed me in it, in it, somehow, but no, I, I think I'm going to give him that, yeah. How's Lafayette? You get this then. So you're not going to get Dunsbridge, you're going to get um, Old Town. Um, and a new bodyguard. Well, we're going to pick... Yeah, we're going to pick her as bodyguard now. She's quite powerful. Or quite strong. We need a new regent as well. Who do we pick as our regent? Who? Um, who... Do I like 13 my nephew Andrian Waltkin hmm don't really trust him Riel Valerion Relanor Valerion she does I don't like her Rhea Arwen Orm my Castellan Rickard Waltkin Luciferon I could make a dragon well we've had that before my maester this woman, Simon Lefford, Annalis Bulva, no, Osbud, he does not like me, totally not that guy, Septon, not, okay, my treasurer, I think I'm gonna go for, yeah, for Real Valerion, I like her the most, yeah, and I trust her, because, why do I trust her, she could have killed my husband, uh, my, my son, <laughs> she could have killed my husband, Huh, this is just, hmm, I really don't know what to do, but yeah, I guess we're just going to go forward here. Norcross, domain is too big. Um, he wants to get married, right, because he was married to my sister. Um, marry as you please, I think, yeah. He married Sylvia, 
Alright, that's good for you then. And the war has ended. Good. Holy shit, so Walter has died. Wow, that is... That's a quite, a, quite a bummer. Quite surprising as well. So now I have Isaac and Quentin Beesbury. Alright, can I force you to train? You're at least not a craven. That's, that's very good. Wow. A son was born to Rickard Connington and Lady Elena's the Unfaithful, named Fallon. Okay. You were depressed. Kill yourself then. Okay. Can I change my focus again? I could. But I think I've already... Ah, I would like to duel this guy. I kind of would. Bonnet for Connington. Um, I think we've had enough seduction focus. Yeah, let's actually go back to the war focus. Um, hmm, do I? Let's see what what kind of ambitions are available. Nothing really good. So I guess we're not going to pick any of that ambition. We're going to go back to the war focus because we're not yet done. We're still going to have to fight the high towers. And, however, that will allow me to duel my rival. There you go. Duel him. Challenge Rickard. wonder if he's going to accept. Rickard Cunningham has chosen to accept your challenge to personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few dies, uh, days, so let's fight. There you go. You and Rickard slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening in his defense he could possibly exploit. One mistake is all he'll get. You would launch a frenzied and furious attack on Rickard, immediately setting him on the back foot. He appeared panicked by this, allowing you an opening. He tr okay, I strike and he tries to defend himself. You easily break, break through Rickard's guard and knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet completely at your mercy. It's all over now. He drops his weapon and throws up his hands. You, he yields. What? I don't care about you. I am lunatic. I am wrath. Um, no, you wild boar. I will be known as the Ruthless. I will get this honor. I don't care. Lord Wallace does not like me. Wallace, oh, Connington, I don't care. Rickard crumples to the live, to the ground, lifeless. You, you wipe his blood from your weapon. The deed is done. Vala, Morgulis, and victory is obviously mine. Awesome. Okay, so that was the duel. Um... The fight raged on for a while with no clear advantage on either you nor your opponent until you managed to parry Rickard's blade and deliver a powerful finishing blow against his defenseless body. I don't think that's how it was. I think I striked at him very quickly and he just died. At least that's what it, how it said it was. Anyways, he has been slain by your hand and I walk away as the victor. Of course, because I am Lord Rui, the ruthless of Brightwater. That's... That's what it is. And we're still Craven. No. Uh, no, we are. Actually, yeah, we are. And Ryan and Farncrack. House Sari will... Is inviting us. Actually, yeah. House Sari, um, your... Wait. Um, okay. That is... Who is that? Well, he's one of your family members. And he has helped me. So, obviously, I will travel to your wedding. Uh, not wedding, but uh, tournament. Apparently, we have... A bodyguard. We need one more bodyguard here. Um, a lady? Simon Lefford. Our wife hates my guts. My wife hates my guts. My nephew. Or this guy. No, I think my nephew. I'm gonna pick Andrew and Waltkin. Special actions are possible. Yeah, what to do with these prisoners? I think... Um, Master of Dunsbridge. Why is he imprisoned? I think it was these two that, that were involved in the death of my son, so obviously they will be executed. Since I'm not particularly cruel. Okay. Um, then we have... This guy, we can probably just ransom him. And the others, 
I guess Coolis Ambrose will be released. Melissa Ambrose will be released. This is okay, that's that guy. Um I guess I'm gonna release all of these people because they have been captured in the war. We don't really need them. But yeah, so that is the end of today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I, I'm still very confused. Um, it took me really by a surprise that uh, Walter has died. Under suspicious circumstances, really. I mean, he has survived Grayscale, so poor guy. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I will end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Steve Tronka, signing off.